channel my name is Kinjeri if you are seeing me for the very first time today I'm filming in my kitchen and I've never filmed in my kitchen before so I don't know how this is going to turn out but I want to share a kitchen update with you and then I'm also going to throw in some tips this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while now um, but I'm going to throw in some tips on how you can give your kitchen a very clean well not very clean but at least a clean um, I won't say minimal, but a clean look, especially if you have a kitchen like mine. I you guys look in my kitchen, you see that I have very, I have like the most outdated tiles in the world. And what is so much more annoying about this is that there is such a large area um, in this kitchen where these tiles were. In fact, the tiles were used everywhere. It's a bit difficult to work with, especially if you are trying to decorate your kitchen or get your kitchen to look a particular way. So I'm just going to share with you guys um, a few tips that have helped me to make my kitchen or make my kitchen look easy on the eyes if that makes sense make my kitchen look easy on the eyes because that's always the goal for me i love things very organized and i don't like too many colors i don't like things just overpowering my space and colors overpowering my space so i'll share with you guys a couple of tips that have helped me and then i'm also going to show you guys a few things that i've changed about my kitchen So the first area that I'm going to show you that I tackled were my cabinet doors and they are this or they were this tan color that just kept on throwing light on the fact that my tiles were just very ugly because the tiles have a similar color on them so I just did not like the way <laughs> the way everything looked so um, I got contact paper and this contact paper is from Quirk Station I'm going to leave their handle on the screen right now and um so yeah basically i got someone to do this for me i didn't want to do it myself i just didn't want to mess it up but the problem that i had with this um the whole project was the fact that we couldn't remove the handles of the cabinets because we noticed that the screws were rusty so we had to make do with just putting the contact paper around just trying to work around the handle and really if we had taken out the handles the job would have been neater and then it would have been way easier so for everybody who asked me where i got contact paper from in my last video where i covered my work tables check out quick station they have stationary contact paper just a lot of things that i'm sure you guys would like So at some point we did a bit of cut and join because we ran out of contact paper but then i love how it looked at the end of the day do you guys love this like i know it still makes my my towel still look very annoying but then i just have to make do but i love how it looks at the end of the day it really brightened up my kitchen so i also decided to change my pots and i got this die cast set it was a bit difficult figuring out what kind of pots i wanted to get so i settled with these black ones because it still fits into the whole clean look that i'm trying to get i was tempted to get a colored one because they have quite a number of colors they have gold they have i think bronze they have purple so i was really tempted to get the purple one but i was like you know what if i get the purple one i'll end up hating it so i just went for the black Now, I've used these pots for I would say roughly two months or so and I really love them I'm enjoying them however I don't like the fact that I'm having you know some areas peel at the back of the pot the inside is fine and I love the fact that food just glides off so easily on this thing you guys even if you burn your food it doesn't take so much for it to come off but at the back I noticed that the pot is peeling and we don't use anything hard or abrasive to wash it other than that i love the pot so on the pack they said the knobs are heat resistant but nah they're not they are not once you start cooking after a while your knobs are going to get hot basically this pot you have to use a cloth to hold it because the handle was molded with the body of the pot so it gets hot as well also when it comes to appliances i do not do colors no i don't do colors sometimes it's tempting you find the color that you love but 
for the most part they are just appliances so i stick to white i stick to black i stick to silver just like my cooker i love that my cooker is black and chrome even though this wasn't the exact cooker i wanted but then it fits into the theme of my kitchen i love flowers and the one thing that i love to have in my kitchen are plants you can do fake plants you can do live plants i have a live cactus but then i also have fake plants and these fake ones i have are um very vibrant the green is very vibrant so <laughs> you know let's just be deceiving ourselves but i love plants i love flowers and i love plants putting them in the kitchen also gives life to your kitchen So something else that I love or I'm really still getting to love about my kitchen is my spice rack. I made it very very cheap and it's very functional for me. I love the fact that it's open and the fact that it's open just makes me want to, um, you know, try to get cute containers. This one I got from Party Lock. I always buy stuff like this from Party Lock and they ran out of this particular size so I haven't been able to buy more but I'm definitely going to check them out sometime during the month because I need to change the um, containers on the lower rack so for me because this spice rack is an open rack I need my containers to be cute I need my labeling to be cute I don't like my labeling right now I'm actually just managing this ones so I'm trying to figure out a better way to label that would actually look cuter so if you guys have any ideas please leave them in the comments for me So another thing that is very important is how your countertop looks i love wooden chop but by the way i'm looking for a round one so what i do most times is i try to go with silver as you guys can see and these were all things that were easily within my reach i got this utensil holder from a store close to me i got the chicken egg basket from Shoprite, and then the paper towel holder i got from kitchen thrift store so this is how i like my countertop to look you also want to keep your countertop open and to avoid clutter. So something else I took into consideration when I was going to buy a plate rack is the fact that I didn't want a colored rack. So I went with an off-white. They leaned towards grey but then it's an off-white. So also for plates, I changed our plate recently to this cheap or you can say affordable white melamine plates because i don't own a microwave any longer so i don't heat them up so they are perfect um the girls use them for their cereal and then for regular food and then they are not even interested in what kind of plate i used to serve them honestly my tips i hope you guys learned one or two things um if you are like me you're super organized and this would definitely make sense to you your kitchen is so important especially if you cook all the time like i do i cook every time so the best thing i can do for myself is to make my kitchen as comfortable and to make it look good so that i can you know comfortably cooking it because cooking is not something that i enjoy so much but i have to do it so thank you for watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below don't forget just tap it now and tap on that bell icon because I'm going to be doing a lot more home videos like these are videos I enjoy to do if you guys like them so make sure you give the video a thumbs up okay so that I know that you actually like this video I'll see you in my next one bye